Because I hate them. Why? I just hate them. How long did it take you to get to the point where you could manage your own business affairs? I mean, you have gone through a few managerial changes and problems. Yes, well, that's, problems. that's how long it takes. I mean, I, I don't think anybody can manage straight away unless they're very lucky and unless they know. You've got to know the business, and the only way you, know, you get to know the business is to, 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 to make mistakes and have pitfalls. And, and, and uh, I think every major successful artist has gone through that. I refuse to believe that somebody's just had no problems at all and just uh, managed to do it like that. I think... I think that's all part of a history, all part of a, uh, a band's history. They have to go through all that. You know, people get, you know, there are a lot of sharks around and you get done in, you know, people rob you blind, money, but that's all part of it. And then you learn by mistakes and then you know which people not to employ and, and, and where you think, okay, you just have to uh, take uh, control of, of this situation yourself. And um, that's what we did. I mean, after a while, I mean, the managers were good, they were bad, they were good, or whatever. It just happened there, was, there came a point in time where we thought, um, we can do this ourselves. Okay, it's a, a bit more work, but I mean, um, we've gained the experience and we can do it ourselves. Besides, we make more money anyway. You don't have to give a percentage to your manager. Is there one so, person uh, in the group? Do you do more of it than anybody else? No, no, I think we all do. We all, uh, as far as that side is concerned, we all um, partake in that. Individually, it's like 25% um, to be honest, all four of us, because we all come, we all do different things. Like John's very, very good at um, the actual <coughs> business sense, the actual sort of money side of it, the marketing and everything. So we leave that to him, and um, they'll leave me to just the wardrobe, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> they'll leave me to the wardrobe doing and, and writing the hits. <laughs> now, what happens when one of them writes a song that? If I don't like it, do you it, like I'd the lyrics? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You know, I'm not going to sit there and say, yes, the song's good. It's not good. They, they come and have, tell you that Of as course, well. of yeah. course they do. And I tell them to fuck off. <laughs> Are you very, very rich? Oh, I'm extremely rich. Do you like being rich? Of course. What do you do with your I money? I flaunt it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do with your money? I spend it. You said the mm. rest of the guys have houses in L.A. I assume you mean the other members of Queen. Yeah, who do you think what, I meant? What, what are their names again? <laughs> Stop that shit. <laughs> Brian, Ray. Um, it's Brian, Roger, and Roger John. Roger and John, yes. I sometimes forget them too. You but know? you don't really hang out with them or anything, do no. you? You know, if I like them, I'll socialise with them now and again. You know, it depends. But, I mean, as a rule, I don't. They have very different um, characters and they like different things. You know, I like to go to ballet and opera and things. They don't, they don't like all that. They just, just keep going to rock and roll shows. Why do you think you've managed to stay together working with them as, at this job, in this business, for all these many years? Now what? It was formed mm. in 1971. Mm. Why do you think we've lasted this long? Money, darling. No, I mean, that's, is that why you've lasted this long, <laughs> or that's why you've stayed well, together for this long? No, I think we kind of, um, underneath it all, we kind of like each other, and we like the music we make. That's right. basically it. I mean, I mean if, we, um, if we didn't like the music that we were making, we'd, 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 you know, we'd say goodbye to each other, because, I mean, you know, there's nothing else left. No, the music is still there. Basically, that's basically it. And when you first came together, did you think we were you very different then? How do you mean? Oh well, yes, we. I mean, I mean, we were very. You we were, were very, very diverse hungry. personalities. Then, yes, yes, yes. Well. But at that time, we were sort of getting to know each other, and we had so much to sort of put across, and we were very hungry for uh, for um for a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> Anything, right? Yes, yes, we were just hungry. We just mm. wanted to. We just wanted to let it all out, and. Um, and so, um, you know, we, kept, we took it from there. And, we, and the, the thing about it is the four of us sort of write very different songs. And so it's kind of, um, it keeps us going. I mean, if everybody wrote the same kind of thing and, and we all appeal to the same kind of people and everything, then it would be a bit boring. I mean, we just have four totally diverse personalities and different egos and, and that runs right and that's good. So we still fight and we still fight like kids. Every time I'm in the same room with Brian, there's, you know, within five minutes we sort of... Sparks fly. Start, yeah, we start. I haven't hit him yet. But there's still <laughs> time. <laughs> I'm just Is that a possibility, really? Well, I bet you'd like to be there. Um, no, no, he, he writes, I mean, especially now, I mean, we've, uh, total extremes. I mean, he's still into the heavy metal type uh, of stuff, which is fine, you know. I've just sort of moved away from it. I'm more into the black kind of thing. I like you know, more the disco, more. I like to try different things every time. And, um, you know, in the early days, we came through the heavy metal thing, and uh, even. After about the, the, the second album, I started writing different kind of things. I mean, uh, a heavy metal band doesn't have to have to just stick to heavy, you know, big heavy merchant chords uh, and things all the time. I mean, you can write. I mean, I'd like to think that I'm just I'm a songwriter. Is it hard <coughs> it to stay? so old. Is it hard to stay motivated? <coughs> it is hard. Yes, it, it does get a 
there's different ways of looking at it. I mean, sometimes you just think, okay, you've done enough, and uh, you want to do, you do want to do different things. I mean, I'm still hungry to do things, but it's not, it's, it's not the same kind of hunger. It's, it's a bit sort of, you know, okay, you've done a certain, and so you think, okay, I'm, I'm going to try this, and if it doesn't work, I'm going to try something else. It's not that it's got to be this, and this has got to happen. You know, this has got to work this time. There's no sort of, it hasn't got that knife edge. But um, it, it's, there are different ways of looking at it. I mean, you, you're more mature, you're more experienced, and so you have to sort of look at it a bit more, a, a bit, with a more cool out outlet, you know. It's just got to be a bit more cool and, um, I don't know. I don't mean blasé by that. I just mean that you just you'd be a bit more experienced about it, you know. You don't have to rush things. Plus, I would think that change is very important to a band that's been around as long as Queen, because how can you stay interested? You're dead right. We hate each other. <laughs> <laughs> we hate each other's guts. No, it's just, um, you know, we've, we've sort of um, been together 13 or 14 years, and, um, and, and after that time, I mean, if, if you're still together, you, are, you, you like each other instinctively, and you don't have to sort of think about um, spending social time together and things, which we, we hardly ever do together. So, I mean, basically, we only come together when there is music. Or, so, basically, it's a job. I, know, I think we all look upon it as, and we, I think we're professional enough to think about it that way. And um, and I think that's good. So we keep away from each other's um, territories, to be honest. Otherwise, we'll, I think I'd just tear all my hair out and, 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 you know, jump out of a tall building, to be honest, if I had to sort of, you know, live the, the way we did in the early days. But that, you, a group has to go through all that, you know, to start with, because... Um, you have to know, you have to get to know each other and their musical abilities and this and that. I think we've we've done a lot together, and um, I don't know. I think now, now, all, now, all we're doing is just staying together to make music, which is what we were initially there to do. Yes, because I think um, there is, because I think there's no way you can actually tell that you don't write a better song than me. You know what I mean? Because in the end. I mean, even I, I could actually say to somebody, that song is not as good as mine, but it's up to the public in the end. But the only way you, you, you realize that it's going to be a good song or received properly is to actually release it, and then it's, then it's too late. So, I mean, I, don't, I think in the end we just, it's a consensus of opinion between the four of us. The four of us ha have to actually just fight it out, and, and in the end just say, this is what the Queen album, even then it, it might not be good, but it's just within us we have to sort of come up with uh, there, there, there are times where we fight numerously where Roger will say, look, I love this song that you've written, uh, meaning me, but it's not on the album. And I say, look, there's no room. Why don't you get rid of one of your songs? And then I'll put it on. And that doesn't work, you see. So, I mean, it, but diplomacy is, is something. I mean, I, I, you know. And in one way, that's quite nice because um, in a funny way, having done my solo album is, is, is now giving them more room to actually write more for themselves because I mean, um, in a way, I mean, before I did my uh, solo album, I was sort of very involved with Queen, and I wanted all my output to come out through Queen. Now that my solo album has come out, I've sort of actually channeled all my energies I into my solo album, and so now I think there's a, a little breathing space where everybody else can come into their own. So I think it'll be good. that. That's another way of saying that we can come together. I'm actually sort of allowed a breathing space, and I'm gonna. I'm not going to be so greedy as I was before, because I'm going to say, fine, you know, I've got my solo album already out and we can all write um, equal. But uh, in terms of um, the actual lyrics, uh, I find that hard, because I'm not a poet, and, uh, and I hate writing lyrics anyway. I wish somebody else could do it. Mind you, but I'm not like that. I like to do it all myself anyway. I'm a greedy bitch. <laughs> Freddie, what would you say um, has been the highlight of your career? with the group? Oh dear. <laughs> I don't know. Is there um, something that stands out that you, you know, you, you aim No, actually, I, th I think, I think, um, to be serious for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I think the actual, um, what's actually been, uh, been quite sort of dumbfounded is, is, is that we've actually stayed together all these years, you know? I, mean, I think, uh, if you think of uh, it in terms of, uh, in terms of, because uh, we, we, we started uh, in, in the true sort of uh, heavy rock and roll sense where, you know, the quartet was in terms of Led Zeppelin and all those, and, 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 and in, in years past, 
they've always uh, broken up or whatever and, and they had um, uh, uh, change of, uh, of personnel and things like that. And uh, when you think about it, I mean, we, we're the only sort of, uh, you know, the four grand dams that have actually sort of stuck it together. And uh, I think that, that to me is quite uh, amazing. So, I mean, I mean, we probably sort of hate each other anyway. <laughs> anyway, but I mean, we've sort of stuck together intelligently to actually, because uh, from the onset, we actually said that we, we, this, this was a sort of, okay, it sounds very calculating, but I don't give a shit, but it's just that it was a, it was a musical career, but, but, but sort of it was coupled with a business sense and an intelligent approach. And so we've actually sort of gone through with it, you know, and we all, we've all had ego problems, of, you know, like any other group, but we've never actually let it go that far where we actually said, uh, uh, okay, let's forget it, because uh, I think we've all, the four of us, have actually said that, 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 that this chemistry that's worked has really worked for us, and, and so why, you know, why kill the goose that, that, that laid the golden egg? And uh, that, to me, I think, has it, been uh, the thing that, uh, I don't know why we're together. I don't know why, why uh, and if you ask any of the other members, uh, I don't know why we're together. And I think that makes it even better, because, I mean, within... And the fact that I'm talking to you about my solo project, the first thing that anybody asks is, is it over? You know, is it? And that to me is even more, and I, and I think that my solo project is going to bring Queen even more together, even after all these years. And I think that's, I think it's quite unique. And uh, so we're not scared of, uh, and in fact, so we sort of, sort of help each other in, in, in a way to actually sort of enhance our sort of, um, you know, our, our, our sort of talent and energies towards certain projects that we're doing. And uh, I know it's a sort of loathsome for uh, uh, people to, to actually believe or, or, or think that, because they think immediately somebody's doing that. And that is the norm, but I mean, we're not the norm uh, as a quartet, and that's why I think uh, we, uh, we keep on going. And uh, in numerous um, solo projects, it's not going to stop us uh, being together. So, you know. Are you surprised? Long, long may she reign. <laughs> Are you surprised after? Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I am. I am surprised. That you're I still am. at the top. Well, it, 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 it's not so much at the top. Uh, that's the thing. Uh, being at the top and being together is, 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 is the combination of the surprise that, you, that you're talking about. And uh, I can't believe that we've, we've, we've still um, uh, got both. <laughs>